Hi, it's Daniel Murphy. We're here on a Saturday just doing a drive-by. I actually looked at this tree some years ago. Big cherry tree. And I'll take a look at it. So it came down clearly right across the road here. Township must have cut it up. Pushed everything to the side here. They, maybe, they probably chipped something, but they pushed the big wood off, off to the side here. And this is just a good opportunity to come by and take a look at a tree failure and see if there's something to be learned from this tree failure. One of the things I'm noticing here is it looks like there's a bit of a twist to this grain here. And what are we seeing here? That actually looks like a little bit of callus growth there, does it not? So this and on this side too. Clearly callus growth all, growth all in here. So this split had, had happened previously and was starting to callus over a little bit, showing that there was some weakness in there. Now look at all this wood though. That's a good bit of solid wood there. We got into a little punky wood up in here. But this is certainly good, strong, solid wood. And cherry is really good, strong wood too. That's just a beautiful piece of wood right there. This is just a cool piece of wood right here. Anyhow... I think that's nice. So, you know, I wouldn't normally expect a cherry with that much good solid wood to be susceptible to this type of failure. But let's take a look at it. It looks like there's a little bit of lifting in the roots here, for sure. There was an old hollow here. Just a little hollow spot showing. Tough to say what was going on with that, but that's what we could see from the outside, that, that little hollow spot right there. Probably some kind of funny twisting look to the grain here. See how this grain is kind of twisting? Can you see that? Grain kind of twists like that. Which is not uncommon, you know. These trees, that they have twisty grain. Doesn't make them a, a failure, but straight grain is, grain is gonna always be stronger than twisted grain. And what do we have in here? That's dirt. Mud. I don't know how that got there. Maybe. Just tough to say. This is this one I'm standing on here. That's mud. That's clayish. That's not decayed. Must have. Someone could have thrown it. I don't, how, I don't know how that got in there, but it wasn't growing in there. Anyhow, clearly, you know, that's fairly punky stuff right there. And. You know. That's not good solid wood there either. This is, you know, so there's a good bit of punk in the center of this tree, but probably not 70%, which is generally a good guideline. So then you ask yourself, cherry, that's a pretty stable wood, you know, not at all prone to failure and actually holds really well even when it's dead and doesn't rot out quickly. So it's pretty good stuff like that. Why did it fall over? And the answer is real clear. You don't know this tree when it was standing but i did and i had actually looked at the at the tree and he had said this maybe five or ten years ago i was grinding some stumps on the property and said yeah i'm going to get that tree removed next year or two and i think i might even give him a price but uh what happens here is we've got lots of big trees there's the southern exposure there's the sun so that's southern exposure right behind us lots of big trees on this side and here, this little cherry tree, you're trying to get big. What's it doing? It's saying, look, my best strategy for, for getting good light here is reaching out across the street, out of the path of the, sh of the shadows of these big trees behind me. I'm just going to keep re reaching for all this open light over here. And then eventually it just outgrew its ability to hold itself up. So it had been reaching that direction for the light for a while. Anyhow, so the homeowner just came out. And he's like, what are you doing looking at my tree? I'm like, ah, remember me? I used to grind, I ground some snow. He, he said he thought because the big trucks drive by all the time and they hit that pothole that it was the vibration uh, of the trucks that destabilized the roots. That's an interesting theory. I said that's probably not it, but I, I like the way you think. What else do we got here? Oh, that looks like some callus growth there too. So there's some more. There was, there was probably some more. Um, of holes on this side. Anyhow, uh, he also told me that it wasn't a storm or anything. It fell down on kind of a quiet summer day, which is might be sim similar to summer limb drop. That certain trees just give away like 
on a quiet day, no wind, nothing. I didn't ask him if it was summertime, though, but as I recall, it probably was. I've been driving by this tree for a while. So there you go. Hope, uh, hope you guys enjoy watching this stuff. And again, the main, one of the main lessons to learn is just to get out there and look around at failed trees and see what you can learn from them, even if they're not your trees. So I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Take care now.